guys, it's Grace. Um, some of you may be wondering why I have this black thing on my head. It's actually a t-shirt and no, I'm not becoming a nun. Um, I'm doing this to hide my hair color because I don't want you guys to see it until the end of the video. This is a little vlog um, detailing my mystery color hair appointment. There's a salon that I follow on Instagram and I've always wanted to go and get my hair done there because they do really fun creative colors. I saw that this salon was running a special promo where um, if you give the stylist complete creative control and you don't get to pick your hair color and it's a mystery until the very end, um, they will do the entire service for 50% off. 50% off, like that's crazy. So I was obviously really excited. I immediately hopped on it. I know I haven't made a video in a while, but I wanted to make this one. Um, not only to show you guys something that I don't think a lot of people do, which is go give their stylist complete creative control and let them do whatever they want to their hair, especially when there's bleach involved, but also because I wanted to highlight an Asian owned and run business in Flushing. You know, I thought maybe not everyone knows about this salon and they might like to learn more. Uh, so first I actually had to get to Flushing. I don't know why I made this like little clip of the subway though to romanticize it because it's literally like an hour and 40 minute subway ride so it's not this cute. Uh, when I got to the salon, it was really really cute inside. They took my temperature and I also filled out a form uh, to make sure I had no previous COVID contact. Um, also, you have to wear masks at all times, except if you're eating because you are here for like eight hours, so they do give you food. <laughs> Anyways, the salon is decorated with all of these messages from past clients, and I saw so many talking about Jonathan, who was the stylist that I booked my appointment with. So I was definitely very, very hopeful and felt like my hair would turn out well, even though I didn't really have any control. Uh, one thing I would like to note is that Jonathan's assistant, who you see in the video, is the one who did most of the application, and Jonathan was more, I guess, doing the overall strategy of what colors to do on my hair and how to bleach it without damage etc. I did come in with kind of messed up hair. I had these like really blonde highlights um, but I absolutely hated them so as soon as she did them I asked her to cover them up and I actually covered them up twice with like really dark brown dye because I just felt like it didn't look good as a highlighted blonde. You know, the ABG life, it just wasn't for me. So when they were bleaching my hair, we actually did two rounds with five to 10 volume developer, which is really, really light and Olaplex because the dye pulling out was coming out so spotty, but they didn't want to overlift my previous highlights um, and damage my hair that way. So I was in the salon for like, no joke, eight hours. Like they were always coming in and checking it and spraying it to keep it wet. I actually was there for so long, they gave me a phone charger. So as you can see in this photo, like the hair is, there, you can see my highlights, my past highlights, and the, there's this like orangey warm tone uh, from the brown dye. Jonathan actually told me originally he wanted to do pink at the bottom, but because my the bottom of my hair was so warm toned, like the pink would fade out to orange and it would look really bad. So I really appreciated that when he was choosing my color, you know, he was trying to strategize it uh, to look best on me. You can kind of tell here that uh, the dye had developed enough for me to sort of see the color and I was getting really, really excited because I love purple and I love gray and I've actually always dreamed of having gray hair. Hair reveal, ta, ta This is the final color like in video form. Okay, so I, I put in the photos as well because um, by now it's like two or three weeks later. So I think two, two weeks later. So my hair has faded and I, I have been washing my hair with purple shampoo and conditioner, but you know, there's only so much I can do. And I really, really like it. I was actually surprised. I didn't really know what they were gonna do. I was hoping they would do something a little more fun than just like a single color all the way down because their other mystery colors have been pretty intricate. So I was so happy to get this like reverse ombre. I've never actually had hair like this before and I don't really see hair like this a lot on the street. I think it actually suits my skin tone really well. And for the amount of bleaching that had to happen and the amount of lightening that had to happen, I'm pretty happy with the condition of my hair. Obviously it is a little bit damaged. Um, I do have breakage like up here, but given that I had already dyed my hair, <laughs> I dyed over blonde highlights with dark brown dye, permanent dye twice, um, I'd say this is a pretty good result. I, I mean, all of my hair is still on my head, so I'm very impressed. Last time I had a balayage at a salon, they bleached my hair, um, and I don't know what happened, but it was so damaged afterwards, and like in comparison, I feel like this is pretty good. I hope you enjoyed this video and it was helpful in some way. And if you're in New York and you like my hair, please check out Hair One Salon or Jonathan, the stylist who did my hair. I will put the information over here. 
And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, bye. Uh, I don't know why I didn't just film an intro when I still had brown hair. Actually, I did film an intro when I still had brown hair, but it was really depressing because actually the appointment was like the day after the Atlanta shooting. So I was like really depressed and scared about taking the subway to Flushing because um, of all the hate crime. So yeah. Uh, I haven't filmed an intro in so long because I haven't posted in so long that like I'm trying to do this and it feels really weird and I'm not sure how I used to do it.